So as you can see, I've got a fusion design, which is made up of multiple components. So each component has its own collection of, of steps that was used to create it. And you can see that there's a, a collection of features along the timeline. I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to select export. And within the export menu, what I can do is I can use the type and notice the option for inventor. So I can select inventor. And when I pick the path is where you set, whether it's an IPT or IAM, but it'll, it'll by default understand what you got going on in, in Fusion. Now, depending on the number of components that make this up or the complexity, it could take some time, but this is going to basically put, start a process in the background to start that export. So with the power of video, I'm bypassing the waiting for the export. And notice that it's exported it out as a zip file. So it took that Fusion design, created an inventor assembly, and a bunch of subcomponents. So let's extract that. And what we're going to see is we're going to see a collection of an IAM, a bunch of assemblies, and some part files. So with an inventor, let's open that. Just find that file. Let's just change the assemblies, make it a little bit easier to find. We'll select it and we'll click open. And notice that the hierarchy, once it open, matches with Fusion. Now, one thing I've noticed is that it, it quite often gets the orientation wrong. So Fusion and, and Inventor just don't like the same top being top. So let's just make a quick change so that the top is the top in Inventor. Now, like I was saying, the, the components are all individual components. They match the Fusion hierarchy. In fact, if I open one of the parts, I'll see that it is a, a, a part file, but notice that it's just a body. There's no features that, that make that up. So what I'm going to see in bouncing back to Fusion is that this design, this assembly contains joint origins. It also contains a series of joints. So for all intents and purposes, this thing is fully assembled. Let's take one of them and let's animate it just so we can see. And we can see that there is a relationship between these components. Now flipping back to Inventor, what I'm going to see is that I can just take a component, well outside the grounded one, but I can take components and notice that there is no relationships, no constraints, no joints. So again, this would be no different than dealing with a step file or a, or a JT file, is that Fusion simply exported a collection of base solids, located them in the same location where they were, and mimicked the hierarchy. So when you export from Fusion, you do get inventor native files, parts and assemblies, but you do not get any of the, the relationships and you get no history, no features, no parametric features that made up that design.